The rush to the shopping centers and websites is on for Black Friday. Many shoppers are already awake, waiting for the stores to fling open their doors. Some have already visited the Christmas tree in Millennium Park. The National Retail Federation says as a nation, we'll spend more than $800 billion this season. Now for a look at more Black Friday shopping, let's head over to Megan Dwyer. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. What would Black Friday be if I wasn't out here standing in a cold, dark parking lot waiting for those shoppers to show up? I will tell you, uh, it, things do look a little different today. You might recall a lot of places decided they were not going to open on actual Thanksgiving Day yesterday. Target included. They're going to make that a permanent change. The Woodfield Mall closed yesterday as well. But this morning, things are going to start opening up here. Uh, and with the pandemic, Everything is a little bit quieter than usual, uh, but there are still some deals to be had. A lot of Black Friday deals actually went live all week leading up to today, which means there's not quite as much reason to leave your couch this year to get your shopping done. That is, unless you want something really special that might not be in stock for very long because of supply chain issues. If you have a must-have gift, you better jump on it right away. Some retailers say they won't get as much in stock stock uh, of some of the most popular items this year, like jewelry and electronics. It also means there might not be quite as many deals to be had. At just because though there are not as many steep discounts, there are still plenty of reasons to be out early. If you can swing it, there are still door busters that you can only get when shopping in person. People say uh, they feel safer actually going inside the stores this year COVID wise, but there are still folks who are very much trying to avoid the crowds. Others say they still plan to be first in line. You know how like they have like sometimes like in Victoria's Secret or like Bed Bath and Body Works, they have like that first hundred people you get like free something. So I got to be one of those hundreds. So Kohl's will be the first big box store to open its doors this morning at 5 a.m. Target will follow suit at 7 a.m. And most of the shopping malls are going to wait until 8 a.m. So if you have something really special on your list, uh, hit me up because right now we are the only ones here. We're live in Schaumburg this morning. Megan Dwyer, back to you guys. I like that hit.